you've ever seen this kind of symbol, them holding uh, one of their eyes. There are, there are so many symbols that they use, and all these symbols have meaning. Other, uh, in some other uh, photos, you see them raising their own symbol, you know, uh, and all these things they are not just like pauses because they have an effect on, on on the person who's watching and also the person who's making those symbols so in some places people go to like these satanic concerts people are initiated people are sacrificed people end up dying prematurely others are initiated generations are destroyed but for lack of knowledge you know the bible says that my people perish for lack of knowledge yes. yeah so the result Wherever you see witchcraft, sorcery, the result is almost always slavery. I won't even say almost. It is always. Because Satan will never give you anything that will make you whatever God made you to be. Mm. He will always make you his slave. That is mm. definite. He does not have any other way of operating. He does not have any other mentality. Mm. His, his mentality is enslavement. Mm. Now, if you look on... United States currency, if you look on, for instance, this $1 bill, mm. it is filled with satanic and witchcraft imagery and symbolism. It is, it is awash with witchcraft symbolism. Mm. It is pure witchcraft. It has, there is nothing to do with God on any of this currency. Now, I'm not saying that people should not use you know, American money or that you should not use dollars, that's foolishness. But what I'm telling you is that they have it, they have their system of Freemasonry enshrined in their currency. And they are telling you who they are and what they represent. They are telling you who their God is. But because you don't speak this language of symbolism, you cannot possibly understand. Mm -hmm. You were taught A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They were taught pyramids. They were taught to speak in Latin. They were taught what the, this is not even an eagle. It's a, it's a, it's a phoenix. Um, they were taught how to communicate to one another through symbols because of what God did to the people during Nimrod's time. They were building a tower. They said, come, let us build a tower and let it reach into the heavens, lest we be scattered upon the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. And so the men, they all came together and decided to build a tower. And God came down to see what these people had decided to do. Mm -hmm. And as far as he was concerned, they had already built it. Because all men had come together, all these people had come together. And with one mind, they had decided to build a tower. And God said, now nothing will be able to stop them. Because this thing, they have already imagined to do it. Mm -hmm. So he decided to mix up their languages. Well, ever since he mixed up their languages, they decided that they would no longer speak or you mainly communi communicate through languages. They would communicate through occult symbolism. 